Jeremy Clarkson and his partner Lisa Hogan were left devastated when her beloved horse, Bertie, died just before Christmas. Jeremy Clarkson previously spoke of his distress following the death of a cherished animal at his Diddley Squat Farm. The former Top Gear host, 64, disclosed the emotional turmoil he and his partner Lisa Hogan faced when her horse, Bertie, died just before Christmas in 2023. Clarkson opened up about the ordeal in his most recent book, Diddley Squat, Home to Roost, sharing the impact the loss had on him personally. It wasn't a fun event, even for me, and I didn't like it one bit, he said. When Lisa's horse died, I was upset because I could see she was. And because I would have to deal with it. He provided a somber picture of discovering the much-loved Bertie lying on his side, in a stream on their land. The Grand Tour host's farming career has been well documented on Clarkson's farm, but things haven't been running smoothly over the past year. Not only has Clarkson's journey aired on TV, but he's kept fans updated across a series of books. His latest edition is no different and features a shocking admission about his staggeringly low profits. He wrote, Of course you've heard this all before. Farmers moan. I spoke to an old boy and he said that in his 60 years of working the land, only two harvests were what he'd call very good. This year, though, was noticeably bad, very bad. Clarkson continued. And what made it worse is that I normally invest maybe 40,000 pounds in seeds, fertilizer and sprays. But last year, thanks to the war in Ukraine and the inflation that resulted, I had to invest 110,000 pounds. And then, having done that, all I could do was hope the weather would be good. Which it wasn't. In my first year of farming I made a profit of 114 pounds. That will look like a dream result when I get the figures for this year.